Florida's new swimming pool is a go. Nearly 71% of voters giving the thumbs up to last night's bond referendum, which will allocate more money toward its construction. But to fund this nearly $4.3 million project, Zimbardo will have to look beyond the taxpayers. Our Noah Kaplan explains how the city plans to dive headfirst into this project. Closed for the season due to disrepair, Zambroda's swimming pool lays empty this summer. Tuesday, the community voting to change that. The city has been working on this for years, uh, about four or five years. A 490 to 205 vote passed Tuesday's bond referendum, which means Zambroda expects to have a new pool built by 2026. The project will cost about $4.3 million, at least $3 million of which will come from the city. So for the average homeowner in Zambroda, which is about a $300,000 home, they're going to be paying approximately $12 dollars a month over the course of 20 years, which would amount to the total 3 million needed to fund this project. Now this project needs an additional 1.2 million. So where are they going to get that money from? The city tells me it's going to come in a variety of ways, which include fundraising and also grants. We can allocate $3 million, so then we have to have a fundraising effort. You know, Monday we're going to kick that off. City Administrator Brian Grudem says capital fundraising efforts are already underway. But if funding is not met, Grudem says those backstrokes and cannonballs may be on hold for even longer. We'll be delayed a little bit. Uh, we can't. Uh, we can only bond for three million dollars. That's all we we ran the question for, because uh, we really want to be responsible for t with taxpayer dollars. Our kids are getting bused to Pine Island for swimming lessons. Meg James is a member of the group bridging ourselves to a new pool and she says a city pool is a better option than what kids have to experience now. I was fortunate enough to have my kids be able to swim here for most of their childhood. Thanks to the referendum passing, it'll be an option in 2026 again. In Zambroda, Noah Kaplan, KTTC News. According to the city administrator, a slide, low diving board, and a climbing wall would be some of the new pool's features. Again, if the money is raised in time, the city anticipates breaking ground on the project next spring with the hopes of a grand opening in May 2026. Our city